not a bad cheap coin. I don't think that this one was really expensive, but it's always nice to have those old type coins in slabs. Customers seem to like them like that. Uh, 1851 half cent. Not sure who sent this one in. The environmental damage. Yeah, so you're wondering if that. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't offer NCS on that. So it looks like that might be able to be taken off. So I'll ring them there at 9 o'clock. Other than that, though, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't offer NCS to that coin. You can see just that little bit of environmental damage on the surface, but I've seen them remove worse than that. So, yeah, AU details environmental damage. All right, so here's this other air we sent in for their, our customer. This was also bought here in store. 1935, one cent. Wheat back. It's always nice with the airs, but even better when they're older. So there's still quite a bit of meat left on the bone on this coin. So you should be happy with this grade. There we go. Right, lots of pennies. 66 red brown. Ooh, look at that. Looks like we might have found a spot right there. Beautiful coin. So I don't remember who sent any of these in, so they're your coins. Hopefully you got what you were looking for. Here's a steely. So we've sent quite a few of these and they've been trying to get the PL designation. Yeah, that one does look pretty, pretty flashy. So no star, no, no designation on this one. Steely 43S. Yeah, you can see it. Number 64. I'm just trying to show this. I'm going to go back and show the coin, but. So we've gotten quite a few stars, but uh, none have got that PL designation. Yeah, I'm surprised that one didn't get. You can see it right there. Look at it, mirror. <laughs> well, all right. A brown coin, fifty-one. If I remember, this is some one coins, and I think he said this is a top pop. If I remember, it's kind of got that steelish look to it. Very cool coin. Yeah, 51 brown. Unique Tony in that. Yeah, it makes the coin look silver almost. Very cool. Alright, here you go. Some Mercs. Another flashy. <laughs> Liquid luster on that. Look at that. Yeah, they must have came out with a nice little uh, horde of 41 S's because I've seen quite a few really nice ones like this that have gotten the star and the uh, no. no, I guess just the star designation. Star maybe with a plus. There we go, 52 D, 66 red brown. You know this is. <laughs> Similar toning to the, uh, the, the 59. And they call this one a red-brown. 
So the back of this one is definitely red brown, but is that 59? That just uh, throws me off a little bit. There's a wheat bag proof. 64 red brown. A little bit of toning on there. It's tough to show in these proofs. Sometimes you gotta super overexpose to get the colors to really jump out. There you go, that bit. Yeah, there you go. I'm surprised this one wasn't reverse side up. This reverse is uh, pretty nice. 64 red brown. Joe sent this one in. I guess that was from the original mint board. They all seem to have that same dark toning. Sixty six full tail. I guess this one would be full torches. Uh, so send in for a local customer. He wanted to start slabbing his coins. I think he's getting ready to uh, start selling. So he thought it would be easier to sell if his coins were slabbed. This is a 17S. AU details clean on this. See, this one he wasn't too happy about, but I think his next coin makes up for it. So this is a 23S. If you're familiar with the Standing Liberty Quarter, you know that this is one of the better dates. Especially to get in better condition. So the last one they called uh, AU Details Clean. VF30 uh, NGC showing just over a thousand dollars on this coin. So. Very nice grade for that customer. <clears throat> See the rest of these also local customer. This is different than the last one, but he just wanted to send in some of his uh, quarters to kind of see where they grade out at. So he said he has quite a few nice ones. These were the nicest ones that he wanted to spend the money on and see what they graded. So that one came back at 64. Another 64. Just comparing the two, I think the first one looked uh, a little bit nicer. Not to say that this isn't a 64, but this is just a, you know, apples to oranges, 37 to, I think it was a 39. 64. Another 64 here. Let's see. Trying to find that. I found it with the pennies, a different spot here for the quarters. Another 64. And this last one, we got a 66. So, I think we looked, I think this was a $110 coin. So this one I think paid off nicely for him. <coughs> Excuse me. Really clean. This one went along with that 23S. This is a nice looking coin, nice eye appeal on this guy. So, you know, not the highest of grade, but enough meat on there to make it, you know, a nice coin to have in your collection without having to pay, you know, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for a nicer example. I want to say this one booked out at uh, 
uh, between four and six hundred if I remember. Beautiful coin. I like all the early type coins, so it's nice to see them be a straight grade like that and they don't call it a detail. Even if it is just a fine fifteen. And speaking of details, uh, same customer. So this one, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's been overly dipped, if not polished. So this is the 48O. Cleaned on that one for sure. But who knows, maybe he's just building type set. Here's one that we sent in here for the store. This was sitting on our shelf for over almost a year, I want to say. Uh, at 120 bucks. Nobody bought it, so I finally decided to send it in and we got the upgrade of the AU50. So pretty happy about that one. There's already a scratch on the holder. Wonderful. Okay, here's one that I picked up just before COVID happened. Uh, pretty toner coin. Forgot about it. Just found it in a folder. So we decided to send this guy in. And he did grease it with an MS62. You heard me say I look green, so it makes sense that this one's just loaded with color. Back has nice blues on it, if I remember. This is a nice raw coin pickup. Huh? I think this was at the Polish show. Yeah, it's not the best to grade, but it's still a beautiful tone coin in a slab. So, perfect. So, this one I sent in for another dealer. Uh, he bought it from another dealer. He called it Obverse Clean. Uh, he was hoping for DMPL. The mirrors, <laughs> you can see, yeah, the mirrors on this 